Hi everybody, it's me, Raisna. I'm back with another Love in Deep Space video. Woohoo! Um, I got this, um, card on Monday, March 11th, but I'm recording a video pretty late and posting it pretty late, but it's totally fine. Uh, anyway, it is the Heart Within Reach card with Zane. Wahoo, is anybody surprised? Um, so we're gonna get started with this one. I haven't read it yet, so first time reading it. Zane and I had a fantastic time at the carnival. On our way home, he decides to take a detour and show me the breathtaking view from a bridge he visits often. As we say goodbye, I remind him of something important he's forgotten. Zane, over here! Hearing me call him, Zane turns around. The ice cream cones in his hands are melting. Are you going to eat your ice cream, or...? Zane stops in front of me, his gaze landing on my toy gun. Look, I can shoot balloons with one hand! Taking the ice cream cone from Zane, I aim my toy gun at the balloon and narrow my eyes. You're pretty good, miss. They should put up a sign that says hunters who have good marksmanship skills are prohibited from playing. Hey, don't ruin my Here's fun. Here's the grand prize. It's a plushie. I take the giant seal plushie from the stall owner and shove it into Zane's arms. Wait a minute. Aren't we still holding our ice cream? <laughs> take it. It's my thank you gift for accompanying me today to the carnival, Dr. Zane. Zane carries the seal plush over his shoulder. His flipper brushes against his cheek as so he's struggling to eat his ice cream. I was dragged here by you. You didn't complain. Under the setting sun, I walk with my skewer and ice cream cone. The wind carries Zane's voice right into my ears. Isn't this carnival amazing? You're always holed up in that freezing office. You should... I turn back to look at Zane, but the sun shines on my face. I lift my hand to shield my eyes. The sunset, its color like spilled orange soda, wraps an amber glow around Zane's tall silhouette. Should what? Zane looks at me. I... While my mouth is agape, all my thoughts melt into a puddle. It's nothing. The evening wind is making me feel dizzy. Sunlight fades, and the lingering remnants of dusk are nibbled away by the enroaching night. Zane carries the seal, half the size of an adult, in his arms. Walking next to Zane, I hold the plushie's fluffy flipper. <laughs> What's wrong? Didn't you overhear their conversation? No. I shake my head. Being with the wrong person is a new kind of death. What? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it's true. Does that statement resonate with you? Everyone has their type, right? A friend made a list one time and told me, it doesn't matter how much you love them, if you can't even sleep at the same time, then a breakup is inevitable. Did the list have a lot of names on it? That's not the point. Zane is suddenly quiet. He doesn't seem interested, so I stop talking about this topic. Neither of us speaks as we walk. Still holding the seal's, the seal plushie's flipper, I stroke it with my thumb. Whose name did you write down on your list? Was that a pause I just heard? <laughs> I mean, at school. Everyone had a crush on a, some male celebrity or idol, right? Zane shakes his head. Ugh, I guess I can't talk about this stuff with you. Girl, they might not meet your expectations. I know. Bored, I tug at the seal plushie's tail. So people don't have to do everything together. The occasional movie, dinner, or walk is good enough. What else? Oh, they can watch a show together, post pictures on moments, or visit fun places. Oh, did I miss one? Sorry. Uh... What else? Okay, I did. <laughs> Does that also count? Zane points at the parade in the distance. 
He seems to have an epiphany. His finger freezes in midair before his arm falls to his side. We accidentally make eye contact. Silently, we look away. Is it actually this simple? I nod. Mm -hmm. Even so, many people can't compromise. People are just too busy nowadays. I suppose we aren't since we're here. Yeah, but we had fun today. You did have fun, right? Zane doesn't answer me immediately. He looks back at the parade. We walk to the parking lot in silence. We bump shoulders a few times. As a result, we silently put some distance between us. As we walk, I study the patterns carved into the stone path. Then, Zane abruptly grabs my sling bag strap. Huh? Oh. Zane pulls me toward him. My gaze drifts from the dark button on his shirt to his face. I feel a little dazed. Zane? I can almost feel his warmth. Zane points behind me. The light is red. My pounding heart slowly calms down. I mumble a thanks, then nod. Dude, he has a nice car. What the heck? Remember to fasten your seatbelt. Yes, Dr. Zane. I did. Where's Mr. Seal? Zane glances behind him. The seal in the leather black back seat tummy up. He's sleeping. Don't wake him up. Zane nods and starts the car. Did you have fun today, Dr. Zane? I did. It's nice to go out every now and then. However, I would have preferred to spend my time elsewhere. I'd rather not go to a medical museum for fun. The corner of Zane's mouth curves up. <laughs> Do you think I willingly visit those places? Probably. Maybe. I was just guessing. Zane turns the steering wheel around. The car takes a sharp turn into an empty street and heads into another direction that's far from my home. Where are we going? To a place I go to for fun. Zane is focused on the road. He doesn't turn on the car's navigation system. It seems he knows the way like the back of his hand. Excited, I watch the scenery pass us by. While I know the ins and outs of Lincoln City, there are so many streets I've never truly taken the time to appreciate. We're almost there. A towering double-decker bridge is ahead of us. During the day, the bridge is a, is a pristine white, yet at night, it lights up and casts an orange hue over the water. It reminds me of the sunset earlier. Zane takes me to the lower deck of the bridge and slows down the car to let me have a clear view of our surroundings. They aren't flashy or spectacular. People are just going for a peaceful stroll. As we drive by them, I catch a glimpse of their faces. They appear content, relaxed in the evening breeze. I like to come here sometimes. Zane glances at me, his voice a little playful. After the medical museum closes, of course. I scratch my head as if to say, give me a break. Smiling again, Zane keeps driving and leaves them behind. When the car pulls up to my home, I take off my seatbelt. Thanks for hanging out with me today. You're welcome. With one hand on the steering wheel, Zane stares at the apartment. Let me know when you're inside. Aww. Walk me to my door. Okay. I'm about to open the door, but then I turn around to look at Zane. His head is lowered. He's quiet, and his left hand rests on the steering wheel. I suppress my disappointment. Don't forget Mr. Seal. You don't want to keep him? He won't like my house. It's too monochrome and simple. Why don't you ask him? With one hand still on the steering wheel, Zane turns around to speak with the seal plushie. Hello. You're scaring him, Dr. Zane. Zane and I start laughing. <laughs> After a few moments, we quiet down. I have nothing else to say. Yeah. See you later? 
Zane doesn't respond right away. But when he speaks, his voice is low. I was wondering if I had forgotten something. And you were upset because of it. Do you remember what you've forgotten? Not sure. I playfully smile at Zane. I won't tell him how much I won't s s don't want to say goodbye yet. Look, Zane. What? Me. I know what you look like. After this, I won't be able to see you for quite some time. Since we're both very busy, we should meet up whenever we can. Hmm. What are you thinking about? You're smiling. Well, I think I might be very close to the answer. Try not to freak out, try not to freak out, try not to freak out, hold on. <laughs> okay, okay. Will you dream of me tonight, Zane? <clears throat> we did visit a lot of places, and I am tired. However, it seems unlikely. Poke, then I won't dream either. Why are you still holding my hand, Dr. Zane? I've only confiscated it. I'll return it in due time. You don't have to return it ever. All right. It's getting late. You should go home. Walk me to my door, please. <laughs> yeah, bye. When would we be able to meet up again? Let me guess, your schedule is packed. Next week, Sunday. If we're seeing each other on Sunday, then I'll start getting ready Saturday. Anyway, well, good night. If I'm able to see you Sunday. Holy shit. Holy I'll shit. start getting excited Thursday. Holy shit! Holy shit! Ah! You just did Why? Why did you? Game! Game! Come on! Just, just two more seconds of that scene. Come on! Come on! Anyway, hi. <laughs> Oh, you can't do that to me. Get two more seconds. This is like business trip all over again. Come on. Anyway, hi. I'm gonna re re watch this all over again, so please don't mind me. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the read along. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will be posting more Love and Deep Space content in the future. It's my it's my fun game. It's my fun game to play. It's my fun let's let's play game. Anyway, this is Reesna signing out. Bye!